All right, folks, uh, I'm back with another uh, vlog. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a walking vlog today. So, uh, yeah, I've never done this before. I've never done a walking vlog. In fact, uh, prior to uh, like a week and a half ago, I never did vlogs. So this is going to be a little bit more of a personal vlog, not really associated with punk guilt. However, we will get back to that. But, disclaimer, I'm now living in a location that does not have internet, internet service. So these uh, vlogs are probably going to be a little bit more infrequent. Um, and I apologize for that. In fact, they may be uh, a little bit more infrequent for, uh, for a little while. Nonetheless, I'm uh, getting out and about. I'm taking a walk. Uh through a town that uh, that holds a lot of uh, positive history for me and uh, and currently I'm walking to the uh, downtown area of where I'm currently living oh update on the job I absolutely got the job I uh, go in for orientation on Tuesday and then my first scheduled shift is the following day so wow got that done holy cow I was incredibly worried about that, and me being the worry wart that I am, I just, uh, I couldn't let it, uh, it was just burning a hole in my brain, trying to figure out exactly if I, I, I just need absolute confirmation on things, you know, I really do, I think all of us should really expect that, absolute confirmation, uh, let's see here, so, I'm gonna spin around, just kind of play with this a little bit, get used to it, um, I'm in some sort of parking lot right now that didn't exist. Uh, that didn't exist like 10 years ago. Uh, I'm going to get back on the street. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to walk down to the uh, lake. Uh, the lake has always been a special place for me. It's always uh, been somewhere I, I, I would go when I was feeling down or depressed about stuff, uh, or I needed answers to things. Right now, I'm not as depressed as I was uh, because, you know, I got the job. That's a good thing. So I don't have to worry about that. And I also have a place to stay, so that's a good thing, too. Um, and I'll be staying with my guitarist uh, probably for, uh, well, I would imagine at least six months. You know, I will be looking to uh, find my own my own spot. I've decided that I want to live somewhere that's uh, uh, well cheap, <laughs> of course. Uh, that's really hard to find these days. Uh, but more importantly, something historical, something that uh, that uh, was built prior to the year 1900. That would be fantastic. I would I would love to find a spot like that. Um, yeah. Well, you'll see stuff passing by behind me. That's kind of cool. I know I had some other things to say. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm also a, a bit of a, a bit of bit of a photographer. So I've been out and I, I got this nifty new phone. I mean, it's uh, it's the lowest of the low in terms of phones. It's just a just a track phone. Nothing special. So I've got limited minutes limited texting and limited data uh, but hopefully it'll it'll serve me uh, well enough to begin this uh, this journey that I'm on and that's what it is it's a journey I think I'm gonna head under this uh, cool bridge I used to hang out in this area a lot um, I used to take a lot of photos out here you know not a lot of people actually know me for my photography because to be quite honest I kept it to myself however I do have quite a collection of really cool photographs that I want to enlarge and make giant and then hopefully sell them for you know twenty thousand dollars a piece that, that would be nice um, yeah let's head under this bridge we used to walk through here all the time this used to be a really big uh, industrial 
area with a lot of factories. And that's when I used to walk around these areas. And that was like back in the back in the 90s, early 2000s. But now there's just a lot of uh, a lot of apartments. A lot of the factories have been converted into apartments. Let's see if we can get this uh, this bridge. Get the bridge. Excellent historical bridge. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Again, I don't want to keep these videos uh, super long. Um, I was going to say that uh, uh, I'm going to be endeavoring to, uh, you know, do more with my time here. Let's see if I can get this. Do more with my time here, such as taking uh, long walks, uh, experiencing things that happen. Uh, in the city that I'm in um, and just being a little bit more outgoing uh, because the pain I'm feeling right now is a different kind of pain than I've felt in the past it's the kind of pain that doesn't uh, that won't be uh, won't be soothed by by uh, just sitting around and doing nothing So yeah, I'm gonna take a walk up here. It's gonna be a nice day today. You know, there's pain that uh, that freezes you in your tracks, and there's pain that um, inspires you. Maybe it's the uh, level of uh, love that you put into what caused you that pain that creates that I have no idea I have no idea but man <sighs> okay so I think we're probably gonna end the vlog right here but uh just give you a little bit of an idea of where I am. So that's where I'm headed. Oh, we got squirrels. We got squirrels. Yeah, this used to all be uh, heavily industrial. And now it's apartments, condos. Very expensive condos and apartments. And um, yeah, no factories down here anymore. Um, which is kind of weird, but I used to actually sneak in all these buildings when they were abandoned before they, uh, before they became condos. I was in all these, I was in all these buildings. I've been in all of them. Those ones back there, all of them. And that was back when they were completely abandoned and empty and, uh, you'd go in there and of course, you know, my main, uh, my main goal in these areas uh, was to take pictures of all the uh, graffiti. I'm a huge fan of graffiti. I'm not a huge fan of uh, tagging. Although I do do appreciate a tag now and then, but I just don't like when uh, taggers uh, disrespect a business by tagging on their windows or anything like that. I don't like that. I never have. When I lived in New Orleans, I knew a famous tagger. You know, I'm not gonna not gonna give his tag name, but he was pretty famous. He was pretty big out there. He tagged everything. But when I found a tag of his on a business, I confronted him about it and I said, "Hey, man, that's just not cool, dude. Come on, you gotta respect the businesses. You should only be tagging things that uh, that are either abandoned or completely devoid of any kind of artistic sensibility." You know, but yeah, you shouldn't be taking businesses. That's just disrespectful. I think we need to get back to uh, respecting each other a little bit more as we move forward. All right, folks. So that's it. I'm going to sign off now. Take care, everybody. And again, hit like, subscribe. There's more coming.